don't do a whole pump because I really just wasted foundation. I'm really upset with myself. Let's just not talk about it, okay? What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's look is going to be a very simple skin-like makeup routine as you can tell. This is going to be focused on how to cover up problematic concerns on your face, whether it's acne, hyperpigmentation, um, whatever you're struggling with, this is going to be a version of what I do for my skin. I know everyone is different. I know everybody has different concerns. Now, if you are someone with similar skin to me, then you will probably want to follow this routine. And if you have something completely different, no worries. I hope you still just enjoy watching the video. I'm covering up hyperpigmentation, a little bit of acne, so I hope you guys can follow along and then create this simple skin like routine I think it looks really really good and these type of looks make me feel the most confident like I could do a full face and go crazy with the eyes and the lips woo, 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 whatever but looks like this really just make me feel really good because it's really just enhancing just the little bits and pieces of who I am and I'm still looking like me I still feel like me I feel I feel like I'm gonna touch my face and I don't you know what I mean I don't have to just sit and uh, don't do that, don't do this, like I can do whatever, I just feel super free and comfortable yet I'm still covering up some concerns. So anyway, if you guys want to see how I got this skin-like makeup look, then please stay tuned. So to begin this look, I'm going to start with my base. This is really a base-focused look. I'm not going to do too much with my eyes. I may throw some lashes on later. Who knows? But to begin, I'm going to begin by color correcting. So basically, if you have my skin type, if you're acne prone or just have hyperpigmentation or anything that you're wanting to cover, I feel like these steps are necessary just to make the skin look flawless but we don't want to do too much so it's one of those things where you want to take these extra steps because you're trying to eliminate the cakey heavy foundation look for my specific concerns I have post inflammatory hyperpigmentation basically dark acne marks from just previous acne and picking protein and sometimes even just leaving it alone I have melanin so it just sometimes happens to me and especially happens to people even darker than me so it is something that I deal with I try to work on it whatever of course having a great skincare regimen is going to help improve the look of your skin but there's moments where you break analysis and you just need to okay I'm gonna go ahead and use my NARS radiant creamy concealer this is the OG classic but I'm using the shade honey the shade honey is really awesome because the shade is a pink undertone cool pink undertone shade which is going to allow me to mask some of the darkness red salmon pink undertone colors conceal darker colors like purples and browns and things like that so this is going to be a great color correcting product for me and I just began by placing it over the areas that I'm concerned about and I have quite a bit of discoloration in my face as you can probably tell but it is what it is but mainly we're going to focus on the marks that are pretty prominent that need to be covered because I could spend all day just putting this all over my face to get my face to look right but I'm not going to do that. Now this is my face with the concealer on and what I actually like to do is I like to let this sit and dry down just a bit, not completely so that I can't actually blend it out, but just enough to where it'll blend but it's still very like focused on that area that I place it, if that makes sense. Like if you blend it when it's super wet, it just moves everywhere. But when it dries down, it really stays in the area that you targeted so it won't really blend everywhere else, it'll stay in the area that you put it. Yes. Also, while we're waiting, new t-shirt. I feel like I am becoming, and I'm really proud of it, a graphic t-shirt collector, and I'm really proud of it. So this is just, this is the vibe. Now that it's dried down quite a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with a little blending brush. Use whatever you got, whatever you want, whatever. This is what I'm using. And I actually like to tap the concealer. I don't want to smear it because it's still a little wet but if you just tap it you should get somewhat of a good just even out coverage granted you're probably gonna know that there's concealer right in this area because it is pink and I am not pink so yes just keep just tapping and you know blending it out to where it's smooth there's no build up it's just sinking into the skin versus sitting on top as you guys can see, a lot of it's covered up. Granted, again, 
the concealer is pink it is not my skin tone so it's not going to completely match you're gonna see the areas that I was obviously trying to conceal but the purpose was to mask the darkness of the hyperpigmentation which I think we did a pretty good job of and now I'm going to get into a super 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 light layer of foundation just enough to even everything so I'm not looking crazy but enough to where like you really can't tell if that makes sense we're gonna get into some foundation this is the one I'm gonna be using this is the Fenty Beauty hydrating foundation and my skin has just been really dry because of Arizona just weather it's just so dry so this has been my go-to and this is in the shade 290 you guys know it's my color and when I'm not tan but yes we're gonna use that in a very very small amount this actually may be more than what I need but this is just one pump of the foundation and I'm gonna be using a stippling brush for this what I'm going to do is lightly just start to kind of stipple <laughs> the foundation on my skin just a little light layer. The whole point is to even out the skin tone. It's not to cover up. It's not to, you know, fill in any pores or anything like that. I'm literally just trying to even the skin out. So just a little bit of foundation will work. And honestly, don't do a whole pump because I really just wasted foundation. I'm really upset with myself. Let's just not talk about it, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly begin in circular motions to blend the foundation into my skin. I don't want to press super super hard I'm just blending it lightly don't worry too much about the areas that we are struggling with because I have one more step for those those areas because those are very concerning but to even out the skin tone blending it it's looking pretty good but I have one more step to make this look a little bit more flawless a little bit more like you woke up your skin's looking real beautiful you gotta glow you just look like you just emerged in water you came out the water just looking like Rihanna or something you know what I mean so this is the elf hydrating concealer and this is in the shade medium sand and this is going to be a great concealer to use to basically cover up those imperfections because it's my skin tone I'm going to start dotting at any areas that are literally poking through even after we apply a little bit of foundation This is going to sit and dry down just a little bit just so I can keep the coverage in that specific area. So we start off with color correcting using our Honey Shade from NARS just to really mask and cover up the darkness of our hyperpigmentation. We went in with a thin layer of our foundation just to even everything out and kind of cover up that pink undertone because you're really pink. But now just to really cover up anything else that's peeking through, we used our concealer. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of highlighting under the eye just to brighten it up and give me a little bit more dimension. For that, I'm gonna use the NARS, the NARS Radiant Cream and Concealer in Cafe Con Leche. And I'm literally just doing this. And while this is drying down, I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my under eye because I really, the whole purpose is to really just look awake and alive and just naturally just put together without really trying but you did try because you're doing all this but at the same time they don't know that and whatever's left on the brush you want to put on your eyelid if you got eyelids like mine <laughs> they're veiny I blended out my concealer on my under eye and I took care of the concealer that was on the rest of the hyperpigmentation that was still coming through and now I feel like we have a pretty even base. Granted, everybody's circumstance is different. Some skin is worse than others, some is better than others. You don't need to do this. Sometimes if you're really red, you need to use green. If you have darker areas, you need to use pink or red or whatever the case may be. Everybody has a different approach to trying to get their skin to look skin-like, especially if it is problematic. For me personally, I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation, I got some acne, boo boo boo, whatever. And granted, is this perfect? Am I looking like her? You still see a little bit, but the point is just feel a little bit more confident and just to kind of cover up the big issues, the big concerns. But now that we've done that, really you can do whatever you want to at this point. The point was really to cover up everything and really feel good and confident in your skin just doing a little bit. But you can go in and use bronzer, set uh, your underwires if you need to, lashes, lip color, whatever, or you can keep it super natural. I'm going to do a little bit more with the face and just kind of bring everything together. I'm going to stick with more creams. I don't feel like I'm going to powder today. So I'm going to go ahead and use my cream bronzer. This is in the shade Teddy. And I'm just applying a little bit to bring the whole look together and bring some warmth back into my face because as you girl is white. I really love these products from Fenty because you can use this using a full face of makeup or you can use these products doing a really just natural skin like look 
which is basically what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna get into cream blush. This is also from Fenty, and this is in the shade Bikini Martini, and it's a very like super <laughs> vibrant pink color, and it has a little bit of extra whatever. But this is what I'm gonna use for my blush, and I'm going to apply just a little bit on the apples of my cheeks just to bring back some color, flushness, like I've been out in the sun. A little on my nose because it just gives you that sun-kissed look. And I'm going to blend this into my bronzer so everything just marries and it's not all sitting in one area and it just is there, you know what I mean? Everything's blending and marrying together. A joined unit, okay? Now, of course, I love to highlight, especially with this kind of look because it's just meant to glow. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Vanity Makeup Sculpt and Trio palette. And I'm going to use the Glow Cream in here, just a little bit because this Glow Cream is kind of intense. And I'm just going to apply this on the higher part of my cheekbone. Um, I don't wanna blend it in too much like usual just because I feel like it doesn't look as natural. I feel like the glow really is coming from this area naturally, at least on me. Look at all this foundation. Oh, I'm so upset. <laughs> just a little bit. You don't want to do too much glow because, again, it just doesn't look natural. It's not a glow from within at that point, okay? Now, like I said, you can take this look wherever you want to go with it. I think that I'm going to keep it super, super simple. I'm going to pop on some lashes. So I'm going to do my mascara and pop on some lashes. These are the ones I'm going to use, actually. These are the Ardell Double Up 113s. The 113s was my jam back in the day, so I was actually excited to see these in store. So I'm gonna put the knees on just to complete the look, and then we'll get to like some lip product, or whatever. But take it where you want to take it, babe. You can do whatever you want with this look. I'm gonna keep it real simple, but you can go all out if you want to. But yes, let me go do that real quick. The look is pretty much done, but I definitely feel like I need to tie in some type of lip color, a gloss, or whatever. Like I said, do what you want to do, but because I'm keeping this very minimal, super simple, I'm going to use the Fenty Slip and Shine Lipstick in Quartz Candy. Super cute. It's literally, it reminds me of like a clear lip gloss with lots of reflectives in it, but it's a lipstick. The look is complete it's so simple now this is this kind of look that you would want to do when you're just feeling like very minimal very simple you can wear this to the gym I wouldn't personally but you could you can go to the gym like this you can go to the grocery you can go to the beach you can go to a movie you can go wherever and do whatever really with this kind of look I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was very simple this is my way of covering up my skin if you guys did like it of course give it a thumbs up and comment down below what is your routine what are your favorite products to use to cover up acne or let's say your rosacea or um, melasma who knows you could have whatever let let me know what you guys are doing to help with those problems of course subscribe because i want to see you guys come back that's why i'm making content and yeah hope to see you guys soon and i'm about to go chill because this makeup is giving me some chill vibes maybe take a couple of flicks all casual like but <laughs> yeah i'll see you guys next time